Hi, welcome to Kitchen Web Stories. This is Jyoti here, and today's recipe is avocado pesto zoodles. What zoodles? Zoodles is nothing but zucchini noodles. Zucchi zucchini or courgettes, you can call it uh, whatever you want. It's just the same veggie but two different names. Depends on which part of the world you live in. So zucchini noodles are they're low in carb, they're deliciously healthy, and they're good gluten free. So and it's one of the best ways to add in a little, little bit more veggie into your diet. So yeah, zucchini itself as a veggie is uh, neutral in flavor. So it tends to pick up the flavor of the sauce that you add it in. It could be the tomato sauce, or it could be, you know, the basil sauce or the basil pesto. The sauce which I'm going to make today is a combination of avocado and pesto. So avocado or butter fruit adds to its creaminess um, in the sauce, adds to the creaminess into the uh, noodles and is fantastic for your health. Now the easiest way uh, to make uh, any kind of vegetable noodles or a veggie noodles is by using a spiralizer. But what if you don't have a spiralizer at home? You gotta watch out this video to find out another alternative if you don't have a spiralizer. I've taken a zucchini here, a medium sized one. So we're gonna cut the ends as I've shown into the video. It's just one serving of zoodle, so I've taken one zucchini, you can double it up for two. Next, I've taken a vegetable peeler, or uh, you can even use a grater if you have at your home. And we're gonna peel or slice the zucchini into long strips, like I've shown in the video. This is an excellent replacement if you do not have a spiralizer in your home. Just cut long strips. If you want, you can discard the uh, outer green covering, but I've used it. Tastes really good. We're going to peel it till we reach the inner core of the zucchini. You can get to know by the seeds which are there, but don't throw it out or chuck it into the bin. You can just have it as a snack. So we're just going to use the outer peelings of the veggie. Like you can see it's come out really really nice and long looks kind of looks like pasta too so this is how uh, zoodles look next we're gonna make the sauce so for that I've taken one ready to eat ripened avocado it is so ripened that uh, you can see that the color is brownish so it's really ready to eat and ripen just twist it and lo, it's done. Scoop out the avocado pulp or flesh from within with the help of a spoon, like how I've shown. Avocado is really creamy and it's also known as an alligator pear or butterfruit. This versatile avocado is the only fruit that provides a substantial amount of healthy monounsaturated fatty acids, MOFA, and they are neutrally, nutritionally or naturally nutrient-dense foods that contains nearly around 20 vitamins and minerals. Next, I've taken uh, two cloves of garlic. I'm just going to peel uh, the garlic skin off and add it into the food processor. I've taken a lemon, just Cut it in uh, between and I'm going to squish a little bit of or dash in a little bit of lemon juice. Yeah, it should be enough for a spoon of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed lemon juice is the best. Next, I've taken a handful of basil leaves. And I've added one spoon of peanuts or ground nuts. Next, we're going to add two spoons of olive oil and a little bit, a little bunch of uh, fresh coriander. It gives adds to freshness and we're going to blend it. See, look how creamy it is. If you want, you can add a little bit of water in between to make it into a paste, but it, it's sufficient. Next, I'm going to add in the zucchini noodles into a frying pan with a little bit of oil into it. 
because zucchini has a lot of water content so you just need to uh, stir fry it for three to five minutes that's it because uh, we don't want it uh, we don't want it to be to get soggy um, when it comes to a pesto sauce <clears throat> generally pine nuts are used but if you're allergic to pine nuts or you don't want to use them or you don't have it at home you can replace them with roasted peanuts or roasted almonds or any other or any other kind of nuts of your choice i've dropped in the zoodles into a bowl here and we're going to add in the freshly prepared avocado and pesto paste that we made i'm adding it a little bit extra because i like it when there's more sauce into my pasta in general so let's just give it a mix Oh, it looks so creamy and delicious. I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt. Okay, this is a must. <laughs> season it with a little bit of salt. If you want, you can add in a little bit of pepper. And we are good to go. I'm going to garnish it with a fresh basil leaf. Basil leaf tastes similar to the Indian uh, Tulsi. The taste is similar. So creamy avocado pesto zoodles is ready. If you like this recipe, like, share, subscribe to Kitchen Web Stories. Thank you. See you next week with another recipe. See ya.